There are several hundred thousand people with Ukrainian heritage in our area. The culture of their country is preserved at a museum in Stamford. CBS 2's Tony Aiello spoke with the director, who explained why she fears for Ukraine's future and its past. Inside a Gilded Age mansion in Stamford, the culture of Ukraine is displayed and preserved from traditional clothing. They're all handmade, all hand embroidered. To religious and secular artworks and portraits of Ukrainian national heroes. It is a rich heritage that curator Lubo Wolinitz fears Russia and Putin are denying and would even destroy. Those who listened to Putin's speech, I mean, he completely rewrote the history. He decided that Ukrainians was never a nation, didn't exist, doesn't have a language, it's all part of Russia and so on. He wants to deny Ukraine strong economic and cultural connections to Europe. He wants to deny Ukraine an identity, a national identity, that is primarily European. Foreign affairs expert Matthew Schmidt says Putin wants to include Ukraine in his dream of a new Russian empire between Europe and Asia. And Putin worries a pro-West Ukraine will develop and become the source point for anti-Putin uh, protests and, and an anti-Putin movement uh, back in Russia. Wolinitz says friends who curate similar museums in Ukraine are taking steps to protect their collections from any Russian military attempts to wipe out Ukrainian culture. This is what Putin's trying to do. He's saying he's negating everything. He says it doesn't exist. There's no such thing. And in order to prove it, he destroys these things. It is an unsettling time for the world and for all things Ukrainian, which is why this museum is in close contact with police about security measures. In Stamford, Connecticut, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The museum in Stamford is the oldest cultural institution founded by Ukrainians in the United States.